<laughs> it's so wonderful. Oh, shit. Welcome to Dwarven Kegger. I'm Rob. I'm Tanner. And today we are reviewing the 1911 established Apples, Grapes, Late Nights with a Mixtape Rosé Hard Cider. Hard Cider. From Fuck on You Cars. Break or Beak and Skiff. Apple Farms in Lafayette, New York. Very strange. See, um, that's how you know we've not a, been drinking a lot because this is, <laughs> you couldn't say all that. Shit. This is a 6.7% alcohol by volume. Ooh. Um, it is a rose that we are dedicating to our good friend Jacob. Jacob, buddy, this one's for you. Our good friend Jacob, uh, he's been my best friend since uh, fourth grade. Best friend, he huh? Oh, loves cool. hard cider. That's fine, call him your best friend again. That's fine. I have multiple best friends. That's what's this thing. Got me gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, he's a huge hard cider fan. He's a he's a great guy. He's uh, we're a faster. We're dedicating. He's making the use of this world better. The we're, de youths. we're dedicating this one to uh, him. So Jacob, this one's for you, bud. You know what this looks like? If you mix rosé with apple juice. It's a rose apple juice. Rose apple juice. <laughs> it smells. I listen to Frank Zappa while I'm drinking my rose apple juice. <laughs> the schmalzberries oh. taste like schmalzberries. <laughs> it smells like a, okay, you're just getting in there. Yeah. It smells, Um, you do get rosé and you do get cider. Mostly cider though. I'm gonna put the rosé. So the rosé that I get is Mainly because of the the intense um, the intense wine smell that you get on the back end of it, and I got to tell you, it tastes like a cider up front and ends with wine. He literally took the description I had in my mind right out of your butthole, out through my nose like an Egyptian pharaoh getting ready for embalmment. That. Um, that is that is exactly what he said. That is a very smooth cider up front with a delicate, and I will say delicate, rosé back to it. It's good. That's good. 6.7? Bullshit. Yeah, no, There's no way. There's no way, but it is. So that's, I think that's another reason why Jacob likes cider so much is because a lot of the time they do have a higher alcohol content. But and also they don't taste like... But they're smooth. Like bitter piss, like some beers. The hard cider aspect lends to hiding a higher alcohol alcohol content better than some alcohol content alcohol content better than other drinks. What I'm saying is the hard cider cider just in general kind of has a, uh, a little chop to it that you usually don't get with some other uh, beverages. This is good. Um, it does have a little bit of lacing on the glass, so it is it is not it is not a dry cider. No, no, very it much. Is, it is much more of uh, the, the the sweet, sweet end of a cider. It's kind of juicy. It, it is a little like, juicy. Like, like a juicy apple taste to it. So if you guys, so there's the, the best comparison Juicy for apple, it. rose. So the, the best comparison for it is if you guys are into, you know, like certain, like, like Longbow has a, a really good dry mm -hmm. cider. And I mean, it is dry. It's almost like you're drinking a fucking cab, like a cab salve. Um, and then you turn around and you have like an Ace Perry cider, and it's like you're just you're eating a pear, stone a forge, white, delicious uh, pear. Yeah, stone forge, um, woodchuck, kind of those. It's not dry at all. No, it's, it's more sweet. sweet. And it is more in the beautiful. It is more closer to the apple juice spectrum than it is almost even the hard cider. Yeah. So if you like apple juice and you like rosé. You're gonna like this because it honestly tastes like a 50-50 mix in the best possible way. It's Correct. really good. What's this have? Oh, and what's kind of interesting is they have a dry to sweet range. Sweet is a six, okay? So, and dry is a zero. They put this at about a four going towards the sweet out of six. I get that. I get that a lot. It's not obnoxiously sweet. It's a sliding scale, huh? Apparently. I don't know this company at all, but uh, they've done their research, and honestly, they've made a pretty darn good drink. Now, it's not beer, right? Right? It's hard cider. 
So if you don't like hard cider, you don't like rosé, don't even think about it. From tree to can. Okay. Like they pick it and then immediately process it and brew it. I believe it because the flavors that are going on are very good. I like them a lot. If I were to assign a beer rating system to a hard cider. Okay. I'm going to stop oh, you Oh, you're going to stop me there. I'm going to stop you there. I'm gonna, you, you, let's, you, call it, let's call it a cider scale. So this one, Ooh, this cider. one, so we usually go out of five. You want to make it to six? No, this, 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 one, will go, this one will go out of eight. Oh. Because, Ooh. like, if, if I have to choose, like, an Ace Perry is an eight for me. Like, it's a, it's a hard eight. Because it has, it has every bit of everything I want. It's got a high alcohol content. It's got a really sweet, delicious taste. Boost. And it's got, it's got a really nice finish. Now, Woodchuck would probably be, like, a two. Because it just tastes like apples. There's no complexity. There's no okay. difference to it at all. This one, on a scale of one to eight for myself, I give it a seven point two. Um, hit me up at a seven because what it does, it does, in my opinion, close to perfectly. You're not gonna like this if you like a dry hard cider. You're not gonna like this if you don't like rosé. Other than yeah, that, it's, it's a, it's one of those like. Like, you have to somewhat enjoy drinking a glass of sweet red wine. Yes. You have if you don't, to. then this is not the wine, or this is not the cider feed. <laughs> the wine for you. Not. <laughs> but, as soon as we step over that hurdle, it's banging. It's super good. It's really good. I like it. I like rosé. I also like hard ciders. This is really good. And pumpkin spice lattes. I do, I do, I do. Cold brew. Check it out. No, they had a really good, uh, I had it today. It was a pumpkin foam cold brew. Yes, it's, it's right. excellent. We're not basic. Okay, he's basic. I'm basic. I'm, I'm not so basic. incredibly basic. The only reason I had that is because my fiance decided to get it for me. Don't you Things ever good. think that I'm not basic. Things They're good. lies. They're lies. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom. Also, Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of notification shenanigans. And if you are like more to support the craziness here at Dora Van Kager, hit us up in that Patreon link below. Drop a comment below. Let us know. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Say hi to us. Say hi to us. We like it when you guys. Do you got a liquor suggestion? Do you got a beer suggestion? Or do you got a cigar suggestion? Why? I don't care. What accent is that? I don't even know. We're going to say that that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that, 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 that hard cider <laughs> rose accent. All right, so let's settle something right now. Let's do it. Who has bigger biceps, me or you? I mean, <laughs> is it weird that mine are like substantially higher than yours? Yeah, no, no, no. It's like, oh man, almost. <laughs> so next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Love you guys, seriously. This is really good. Jay, this one's for you.